What's up? Today, um, just a small little video on a small little project. Got um, having a little bit of wobble in my hood, and it's due from I think the car had a front end um, like damage. Somebody smacked into the front end of it at one time. I'll, which I'll show you here in a minute. But just got a short little video on um, some hood latch installations. So this is what we got. We got some D1 generation hood latches. And damn, these are expensive. 1200 yen. <laughs> 12,000 yen. So this is what we're going to be installing. And this is pretty much everything you're going to need. You're going to need yourself a nice little Dremel kit. Or a grinder wheel, however you want to actually cut out the hood. Um, some drill and drill bits. And then I also got a few step notch um, drill bits if I need them. And then I also have some little grinding wheels and tools to smooth everything out once it's all done. So, let me, uh, let me set up the tripod outside and um, get everything going and I'll see you in a second. Oh, I miss her, but time will be coming. Meanwhile, back to this guy. Oh, yeah. Pick up some extra tires, too. Good old hood prop. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the original bump stop holes and just unscrew it out. And I can use that for the pins as a mounting point. And same thing on the other side here. All right, these are the hood pins that actually came with it. So should be able to mount these in those holes and uh, try to keep everything straight here. Give you a little rubber grommet too, try to tighten it down. All right, we got all the hood pins in. Um, they're not dialed in, but they are where I could mark them at least and start drilling the hood let me show you a little trick that I learned on the internet two paste glob it on there and then in theory it should leave your mark all right there's my one mark and there's my other mark. All right, now I got this side done, passenger side, just like I got the driver's side wall it out pretty big and then now what I'm going to do is um, grab the toothpaste and then remark the hood and try to make my marks again now let's see if it worked yep perfect you can see in there I got a dab of toothpaste and on this side, you got your dab toothpaste. Here we go. There we 
there's our hole. Oh, scary. And what I'll do is I'll just keep stepping it up and stepping it up and uh, through bit by bit by bit, make it a little bit bigger and a little bigger till the pin actually fits through the hole. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you through all that. Um, so let me get all these holes all set up and the proper size and I'll get right back to you. All right. Well, we got the pins to come through. So now I gotta adjust them a little bit more and then we'll get to the next step of this process. All right, next step is we're gonna take some tape and tape off the hood so this way we don't get any big scratches or anything like that when I'm trying to cut into the hood. And this way I can make my marks on the outline of the actual latch and the shape that we're gonna have to cut out, so. Okay, now well, I got the hoods all taped off. I got that side taped off. I got that side taped off. Now what I'm gonna do is go to my template here that I originally got with the uh, holes and pretty much figure out how how I want these things to face. Um, I think I'm gonna basically follow the hood line here and just go with the teardrop style like that. All right, now that we got it all cut out, uh, we did get it to grind the edges to actually make it fit. So, now when you slide it in, it does fit in the hole, but now I gotta cut underneath it. So when I run the bolts through and I wanna bolt it in from the other side, um, I'm gonna be able to actually reach those rather than just the little hole that's already here just for the, the pin itself. So I'll never be able to get to the nuts on the underside of this to tighten it or adjust it or anything like that. So I also have to cut the bottom out um, just so I could actually get to the nuts. So we'll get to that here. So now it should fit and I can pre-drill all my holes all the way around and see what works. Drill now, and now we should be able to get to it underneath. So let me test with that. All right. Well, it looks like we finally got it in. It's all bolted up. And let's see what it looks like. With it. I'm gonna adjust the pins, but it don't look bad. Looks pretty good. Well, we're losing light, so we're gonna have to hold off on the other side till tomorrow. Um, let's see. It's just still just the hole. And once again, sponsorship. We are back. Uh, it's the next day. Did get one of the latches finished. Um, it came out pretty good. Now, basically, uh, what I did was I made a little template, a cardboard template, so I can match. Well, let's see. I'm already all set up out here uh, on this beautiful Sunday. And let's see. So I got that one. I take the latch back out just so I can get my template, clean it all up too, and move into this side. So that should line up like that. Only problem is, the pin don't line up. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to bore out and move the pin a little bit, but I'm making sure they do match on the hood as far as position wise. Uh, the pin, once you open the hood, I don't really care what it looks like. So at least when you're looking at it here on the hood, 
it'll be the exact same position as the other side over there so let me set you up here and start making some noise and annoying my neighbors <laughs> oops sorry Well, there you go. Hole one, hole two. I'm probably gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to go charge my battery here for a few minutes. Um, let me clean this up, let me get the underside all done, which you've already seen on the other side, so it's, it's no big deal, you're not missing anything. Um, I'm gonna go throw this camera back on the charger, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, battery's fully charged now, we got the Holes all cut out, top and bottom. And we got the sun again. It is bright as hell out here today. So, I got everything lined up. Um, basically made a template of the other side, like I said, and flipped it, so now everything lines up here. Uh, let's see, let's make sure. Yep. Yep, looks good. So, let me finish bolting this one all down. Then all I gotta do is align the pins up get those all tightened up uh, both sides need to be tightened down and then get this one back in too so we're back okay day three um, this is only supposed to take two to three hours <laughs> uh, is now taking three days so what are you gonna do you know things come up it was a pain in the you know what to get the pins aligned that was the biggest part and that was the biggest nightmare one side no problem as soon as you get to the other side because the front end was smacked not everything was perfectly aligned and squared so oh well but did get it finished and it does look pretty damn good yeah check it out don't mind the card card's dirty there you go nice and aligned locks down Hood is nice and tight, not going anywhere. So that's it. Hopefully um, this video did help you guys a little bit if you were planning on doing this to your ride. Um, again, it wasn't really a how-to, just uh, showing you another little project that I'm doing with this car. I do have a few more uh, projects in mind that I will be showing you how to do. Um, and again, it's not so much a DIY. I mean, I, I'll be doing it myself, but I'm not really gonna go step by step for you guys to, to you know, um, do exactly what I'm doing. I'll leave that to you. You do the research, you do the practice, because God knows when it comes to working on cars, you need practice. You're not gonna get everything the first try. <laughs> everything is not gonna line up for you, sorry. But the more you work on it, the better you get at it. So practice, practice, practice. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.